Hello, everybody. This is AJ Mama Badger. Um, always here supporting bikers and excited to have a biker on board with us today to talk with us. Um, his name is Justin Hughes. Justin is from New Hampshire. You are a writer. Like, that's your passion. That's your background. I remember asking you, I'm like, okay, do you like to do that? Is, is it something you have to do? But you enjoy it, right? And that's yeah. That <laughs> yeah, that's that's my thing. I'm, I'm good with words. It's kind of like my tagline I have on all my uh, social media. I drive stuff, I ride stuff, and I write stuff. And I write stuff. <laughs> I love it. So you are currently writing for a magazine called Write Apart, which people can find at writeapart.com, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, so on, on there, they do news, bike and gear reviews, expert um, advice, how-to guides, history. And um, so very informative, um, gets you inspired. And yeah, so anything you'd like to add about Write Apart and that company and what they do? Um, yeah, well, Ride Apart is uh, a part of MotorOne.com, uh, which you know, mainly focuses on all aspects of car enthusiasm, but uh, this is our little motorcycle niche we've carved out for ourselves. I want to know a little bit about you, too, though. So, okay. um, tell us a little about you. Like, what is it, what, when did you start writing? What did you start writing? Uh, I started writing about 20 years ago uh, when a friend gave me his uh, 82 Suzuki GS650L that had been sitting in his yard unused for three years. Uh, I had wanted to get into bikes for a long time. Uh, my, my first bike ride actually was maybe three or four years old. My dad sat me in front of him on his old Honda. We did a couple of laps around the house. And that and watching way too many episodes of Chips over the years and just chips. inspired me. I, <laughs> I, I wanted to ride bikes. <laughs> but I didn't actually start riding until my late 20s. So uh, you know, I, I got on that, and uh, I, I guess the rest is history. I've just yeah. been riding ever since. Yeah. So what are you currently on? Right now, I have a Kawasaki KLR650. Uh, I moved to New Hampshire from Massachusetts about a year and a half ago. And uh, the, uh, a lot of the roads where I live are dirt. And before that, I had a Honda Pacific Coast 800, which is uh, kind of the minivan of motorcycles. Very much not a dirt-oriented bike. And the, uh, the plastic body panels are all old and brittle and irreplaceable at this point. So basically, if, if I drop the bike on a dirt road, I total it, exactly. even at low speed. <laughs> so... I decided to switch to something uh, a little more appropriate for my current condition. <laughs> and KLRs are indestructible, which is why I chose one. So where is there to ride around you that, you, that you're on all the time? Uh, I live in an area in uh, southwest New Hampshire where there are some amazing paved roads to ride. Um, there's also, like I say, a lot of dirt roads. You're very scenic, a lot of fun. Also, a lot of what we call in New Hampshire Class 6 roads, which are public roads, but they've been essentially abandoned. They're unmaintained. Um, you awesome. never know what you're going to run into when you get on them. So uh, there are yeah. a few around here that are uh, pretty, pretty easy. It's good for a dirt ride. Uh, there are some others where I've gotten in over my head on, especially <laughs> because I am a new dirt rider. Um, I... I say that um, until I got my KLR, most of my dirt experience has come from crashing from using too much front brake, the most fundamental mistake you can make, because <laughs> that's how little <laughs> I knew about it. I've, I've definitely learned better since then, but uh, yeah, it's, it's partly why I wanted to do the dirt, because you know, it's, you know, I have a lot of years of pavement experience. I've done some track days even, but you know, this whole dirt thing is a big hole in my you know, my knowledge and ability. So I wanted to fill that hole. Yeah, I love it. So C6 is the type of roads you call them. Yeah, class that, six. Yeah. Or class six. Yeah. Okay. So is that, how can you, like, how can you find class six roads? Is that like a secret <laughs> or is it out there for people? Uh, a little of each. I mean, there are a lot of uh, town maps online that have them marked and, you know, by the type of dashed line they use, you can okay. tell it's a class six. 
some groups like uh, Jeep groups have uh, gone and compiled huge listings of them, but they keep them pretty secret because they don't want people going and trashing all their trails and them getting kicked out. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of them are, uh, are just labeled with signs. You know, you're, you're going down this maintained dirt road and then uh, you, know, you run into this sign, you know, either not maintained for winter use or a classics road not maintained, proceed at your own risk. And I love to see those signs okay. because I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> like, <laughs> Bring it <okay>. on. <laughs> I think Sunny yeah. and I ended up on one of those roads when we went to Texas last summer. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> it was good pay road. We're like, holy cow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I missed that, um, the sign. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, but what's the most exciting like article that you put together? Can you come up with one or my trip to Sturgis last year, which is uh, where the shirt came from, where my background photo came from. Uh, South Dakota Tourism sent me out to Sturgis to uh, write about the the event, the area. Um, I did a series of articles for Ride Apart on Sturgis. My favorite one of those was uh, all of the best places to ride while you're out there, like uh, Badlands National Park, uh, Iron Mountain Road, which you see behind me here because I'm sitting on a motorcycle backwards. I know, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the background. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Needles Highway, all that good stuff. Um, that was definitely the most interesting to uh, research, yes, because I, I was forced to uh, borrow an Indian Springfield and uh, go ride all of those roads. It was a tough job if someone had to do it. It was literally like the dream journalism job mm -hmm. when the reality of it is, you know, 99.9% .9 is just sitting at the computer and, you know, researching and Working writing. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just doing the yeah. grind. But man, you know everything inside and out compared to, <laughs> compared to all of us. We count on people like you to put these things together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to say thank you to you because um, you done an article on supportbikers.com and mm -hmm. um, so thank you I mean we're always trying to help support other bikers and get to know everybody out there and tell their story and help them out in any way that we can and um, so super cool that you know thank you for for saying that you put an art article together for us to get the word out there um, so we can help each help each other. So we'll have the link um, on here for everybody to go um, and read. And then, um, Justin, you said that we can find those articles that you've done out there, correct? So they can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's there's writeapart.com, and then uh, every one of the writers, myself included, has their own page that just lists everything they've done. So you can find my work that way. Mm -hmm. um, or if you want to see more of the work I've done, you know, in the car realm or whatever, you can always mm -hmm. just go to justinhughes54.com. That's my website, and I've got links to everything there. Perfect. Okay. And then you've got a listing on sportbikers.com, too, so mm -hmm. everybody can find you. Yep. And I put you in under the tab um, Biker Resources, so mm -hmm. everybody can find you there as well. So, yeah. Um, anything that you would like to that you would like to add to not that I can think of. Uh, I really like what you're doing. Um, you know, the, the biker community is all about supporting each other. I've always believed anyway. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what you ride, whether it's a Harley or a sport bike or, you know, a KLR, for example. Uh, you know, we're, we're all in this together. And, yeah. Uh, you know, especially uh, as crazy as these times are, it's, it's great uh, what you're doing to help us help each other out for sure. Mm -hmm. Networking, bringing us together. Definitely. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> yeah. So now I have somebody in New Hampshire to go and see when we visit up there. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Um, I truly appreciate it. Everybody out there, um, help support Justin. Um, and if you need to get in touch with him, you know how to now. And um, that's it for Mama Badger. Um, be sure to, to follow us and see who we're going to interview next. <laughs> mm -hmm.